Evening all. Uh, tonight we're going to do something slightly different. Uh, you'll have to excuse the mess um, in a different room, so hopefully the lighting is a little bit better. Uh, tonight I'm going to show you my new ground station. So this is a uh, dual frequency ground station. I have um, a Duo 5800 Immersion RC receiver. Um, as you can see I've got a 13 dB uh, right hand circularly polarised patch. Uh, I've also got a ProDrone uh, four lobe skew planer. Uh, I may use SMA extensions and use two patches. And on the right hand side you can see I've got an RMRC 1.3 gigahertz or 1.2 to 1.3 gigahertz receiver. And I have a ProDrone 1.3 gigahertz tuned Moxon. So I got a bit tired of my old ground station. It was clumsy. It was heavy. It was a pain in the neck, um, and it wasn't very wasn't very easy to use. So I decided to make something um, that was easy to use. That's completely self-contained. That breaks down really quickly. And I can mount on a tripod and just chuck on the car or chuck on a bench and just point it in whichever direction I wanted. So I uh, mocked up a, a very very simple. Uh, 2D drawing and sent it to uh, my good friend Paul who kindly knocked up a um, kind of a trapezoid shaped uh, wooden frame which I then mounted all the parts on. So as you can see inside there I've got an Eagle Tree Eagle Eyes diversity um, unit which I use for switching between 5.8 receiver and the one point Three receiver. It also enables me to feed a DVR, a 5.8 repeater, as well as feeding my goggles, and I still have a output free as well. Um, as you can see in there, it's all powered off a three cell LiPo. So move around to the back. I have a. He's taken a while to boot up. There we go. I've got a first person view. DVR there uh, for recording my flights. That is powered, you can't see it, but it's just there. That is powered off a DJI M Light power voltage regulator. Accepts uh, 2 to 6S input and puts out a nice clean RFI and EMI free 5 volts, which is perfect for, for um, powering the DVR. I do have a, um, a battery in that as well, so should anything go bad, um, it's still powered. It will still be powered. Um, now, whether you can see that, if that's going to focus, yeah, there we go. I've got a small LCD panel there as well to show me the uh, state of the three-cell battery. So, inside the wiring is a bit of a mess, but you should be able to see. So we've got the 3S5200 LiPo in there. As I said, that's the PMU. Up here, I've got a 10 milliwatt 5.8 gig repeater. This is for when I'm using the 1.3 gig um, video receiver. That's the, um, the remote control for the DVR. And that's the front. Oh, we're gonna take you through the underside as well. So. The cable for the goggles it comes out underneath, and I've put a little uh, strap there to hold it. I have a, uh, I think it's four twentieths um, blind T nuts there, which means I can mount it directly onto my tripod. And also, I've got some bits of uh, foam which I've just yoo hoo poured to the base, which means I can just take it out, chuck it on the top of the car. Point it in the direction I want to fly and go fly. I've got easy access to the um, easy access to the eagle eyes here, so I can switch receiver, change channels, or well, not change channels, but change bits and pieces. It's not uh, completely perfect, but it's, it's functional and it will do the job nicely. What I will do is eventually. I will enclose the side panels and put some form of a charging jack on the side as well so you can't see the battery, but just make it easy to get to. 
Anyway, hope you like it. Hope you find it useful. Ask questions, leave comments, and all the rest of it. Bye for now.